Okay. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Oh, sorry, you're over there. Welcome to Life of the Brand. I'm Kevin, he's Tyler. It's almost time for back to school for most people. Summer's coming to an end. You're figuring out what you're gonna do this coming semester. And if you are a college student, um, particularly within the fields of advertising, marketing, uh, media and communications in general, 2017 is going to be a very, very important year. Um, a lot of stuff has happened in 2017 um, in regards to marketing, and particularly digital marketing. And I think it's really important for college students to understand that there are a few things that you need to pay attention to that are very different from when we went through school. Yes, very different. And five yeah. years ago seems like a long time now. It is, I mean, even the types of things that students learn with, I didn't have all these online classes or online grade books that I can just access it at the snap of a finger. I had to go in and see a professor. So even this <laughs> within the schools, they're using these new things that I don't even know about. But yeah, so I'll, let me give you a little background on my experience. Yeah. I was a communication major at the University of Colorado in Boulder. Um, and I got into the digital marketing world literally by typing in on Google digital marketing jobs. Yeah. That's how I, that's how I found my career. That's funny. And I had, see, that's the thing. I was in media and communications as well. I was in electronic media and communication, which sounds like it would teach you a lot about mm -hmm. computers, digital marketing, stuff like that. It was more of the production side of it. Still old school production, video production, television broadcast mm -hmm. journalism. Um, and it wasn't until I was in grad school and I saw a research opportunity here at Griffin Wick Advertising that I really got into advertising. And I think there's this, there's this, uh, preconceived notion that if you want to go into advertising or marketing, uh, you either go into a marketing program in a business college or you go into an advertising program at a media and communication school. Um, but what I found here on Adweek was an article that talks about the top 10 uh, jobs that are going to be most sought after in the world of digital marketing. And the reason that I scrapped what I wanted to talk about this episode and went straight to this is I was fascinated that looking through these jobs, there's not a single one of these jobs where the prerequisite is a marketing or communications degree. So I wanted to go through and talk about a few of these because that just blew my mind how for all of the schooling that we went mm -hmm. through and for all that we're told uh, that marketing degrees, communications degrees, advertising degrees are the way to get into uh, this world, uh, this says otherwise. Um, the very first one, uh, Chief Experience Officer, which is an executive position that basically melds design thinking and computer science and management, three completely different things that all need to come together into this one And job. the way those originally used to be were three different people would take control of those things. Yeah. Now there, people are being asked to basically excel in every aspect of an advertising And agency. in a very specific way. Right. Like some of these are nuts. The second one's VR editor, virtual reality editors are a sought after position now in digital media advertising. And I think one of the reasons that, uh, like you said, there are so many different specific things that you need to learn about is because digital marketing changes so much. These are all such specific things that uh, you need to put together in order to make just this one job that all of a sudden is becoming huge. So VR editor, expertise in object-oriented programming, so programming computer skills, project management, video production abilities, and the ability to use things like Unity 3D and the Creative Cloud. All of these different um, these different positions basically require that you be an incredibly specialized person. Right. And you know, little pro tip for college students, it doesn't seem like it's enough anymore to just go through and take the classes, get the degree, or even do an internship. Right, we have some employees here that, that learned how to do web design and development uh, you know after college and they yeah. were they were taking classes online and now they're experts in their field so it's yeah. there's always room to add more to your repertoire uh, and that, you know I, I sometimes double as um, you know media buyer you've been doing it lately too so there's yeah. always these different jobs that come into play you have to wear many different hats yeah. no matter how big your your company is wearing many different hats is going to help you succeed it's also going to help the client and the business succeed in my opinion yeah what's one what's some other one of these jobs that are popping up over here uh so i was kind of laughing to myself as i was reading through these and data scientist 
I, I, I feel never like thought that's I would hear that way. word yeah. in advertising. Like, <laughs> Data we scientist need a scientist in but... marketing, and it's undergraduate or postgraduate degree right. in again computer science, strong grasp of machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data optimization. And it's funny, the picture on here is the stereotypical like mad scientist looking person. Yeah. And you know, we come into our office every day and we're all very interpersonal people. We have great communication skills, but all these jobs, and this is what I just noticed looking yeah. good, there is not a single thing that says your skills needed is interpersonal communication. Because the way yeah. digital is moving, everything is done through automation, bots, uh, what else? Uh, um, well, even working virtual remotely, reality. Yeah, virtual reality coding, which basically all of these skills, it seems like all of these skills, except for maybe the management or the uh, the, the, the manager side or the, the yeah. developers that have to oversee a team of people, it can all be done remotely, mm -hmm. which is crazy to think about because I know I did. I got into advertising because I enjoyed communicating with people. Right. Uh, and that's a very traditional mindset mm -hmm. that you go into a room, you communicate with a client, you talk about a campaign you're going to build for them. Nowadays, it's no what kinds of skills do you have that can dive you deeper into how the internet functions because the internet is the main place where people are making purchase decisions right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's crazy to think that uh, that this is changing so much that uh, people like you and I are going to have to continue to grow and learn new things in the digital landscape to stay relevant. That's the reason that the whole digital side of the agency we work for uh, basically requires us to become certified in new things all the time. I mean, I'm uh, certified in SEO and, and all these other things, but yet I'm I'm entitled to digital marketing strategist, so yeah. I'm, I'm getting certified and in all these different... As an account executive, I am certified in Google AdWords. It's yep. one of these things where in order to stay relevant, you really have to know uh, what, what it means to dive in and almost code the future of branding. Um, as this relates to brands, you know, you see a whole lot less um, just traditional strategies coming about. Uh, and the ones that are coming about, kind of like we talked about last week, they're having to be very, very, um, you know, very, very targeted and very, very almost out there with what they do. Because if you're going to do a traditional video campaign, you have to punch harder than you ever used to have to right. to get people's attention because all of the money and all of the engagement and everything that digital marketing is moving towards is really within the realm of big data, understanding big data, um, you know, writing code for augmented reality. Even the idea of that, that, that right there, the IoT marketing strategists. Real quick, if you know what IoT means, comment below. I don't know what it means. Internet of Things. I just learned that. So. <laughs> Internet of Things marketing strategist, yep. engineering background, and a foundation in telecommunications. So real quick, Internet of Things, that is anything, any device that is either a smart home device, your smartphone, your computer, anything that is connected to the internet and communicates with That's an Internet of Things. Everything is yeah. a thing. Your washer, if it has a Wi-Fi capable uh, smart home device on it where you could start it Oh, like that plane. Samsung television. Yeah. Or no, it's a Samsung, uh, what's that called? Refrigerator. You know, right? But it's, sure? it's got a giant tablet on it. Yeah. Have yeah. You, yeah, have you seen that? It's crazy. But, and it's a connected tablet. It's supposed to be a system for your well, home. Well, and here's another thing where, where this is a great segue. There is one called um, Voice Skills Developer because all <laughs> these things can be led by your voice. Yeah. Alexa, please turn on the coffee maker. Good yeah, thing we don't have an Alexa because we'd have coffee spewing. Yeah, right Alexa, now. dim the lights, turn on the coffee maker, change my AC, uh, look up the weather, look up the news, play my music. It's insane, and there's got there's a whole section of the market, um, basically, to help these companies engage mm -hmm. with the people they're trying to reach. This virtual reality, this augmented reality, um, this computer learning system that people are creating. Yeah. Uh, it needs. A linguist. You can hire a linguist if you're a technologies company in order to help you create a voice and create a personage in your technology that will basically affect conversions from right. your audience. It's crazy. I think, and I think the the last one in this article that I thought was hysterical because um, I don't see this happening a whole ton, but they say that this is one that's about to be huge. Hologram retail display designer. <laughs> oh, and, 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 they, and they go into a nice quote about people who like The Matrix. May soon be able to experience a real life version of the movie Simulated Reality in their local shopping center. So you go in, That's you get ridiculous. offered a blue or a red pill, 
then you get a shirt. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah, but yeah. now it's gonna be a blue shirt or a red shirt. You pick which one you want. Oh I'm my just making gosh. a joke. But, but the crazy thing is, is that McDonald's has actually done this where you can actually not even interact with a person. A person. You when can you just go, go in and tap yeah. on the screen, it order up, you sit down, somebody brings you your food. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. Or I think uh, I think it's London Heathrow Airport has, uh, they have little, the, like the, the voice that comes over the top in most airports and tells you, hey, don't leave your luggage alone. Uh, you know, make sure you're on time for your flight. That is now a hologram of a person on these displays who is now talking to you and trying to be more personable with you in order to break through the noise to give people a more personable experience. Mm -hmm. So all of this is basically in the interest of taking digital marketing and turning it less into a, hey, buy this now, and this is why, to an interaction between companies and their potential uh, consumers. Right, and there's a reason why this top thing says chief experience officer, because everything about a buying process, about an advertising experience, is all experiential. Yeah. It's all about knowing how somebody's gonna react to a product, how they're gonna react when they get the product, and it's 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 literally the entire consumer journey, but it goes even further than that. It goes into the, the user's actual journey in life. It's insane how they're, they're getting these yeah. things, and somebody that can somehow empathize and sympathize and whatever other eyes as you can put in there <laughs> becomes a chief experience officer, and to me that sounds like the coolest job ever. But I know, it really does. I'm but sure it's a lot more work than I expect. So, so, we thought that was really interesting. We wanted to talk about yeah. it. Uh, we want to hear y'all's opinions on it. Let us know uh, in the comments, wherever you find this video, what you think. We're going to post the article up uh, yeah. wherever we post this video. So, hey, let us know. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, join us next time which we will be having a special new segment oh, yeah. that has never been seen we'll be featuring some new faces and some new content and a new format new format it's gonna look great done done so we'll see y'all next week thanks